This episode of Pen Point starts right now. This episode of Pen Point is brought to you by Squarespace. Okay, I'm going to do one more of these on Paul McCartney. Uh, I don't call these things reviews. You know, um, Steve Martin wrote me an email and said he liked my review of his uh, bluegrass show. It was very kind. And uh, he said, I, uh, I'm saying he was very kind to write me that. And I didn't see it as a review. I just thought of it as me talking about seeing a show, which maybe is the same thing. But I certainly wouldn't be um, presumptuous enough to think that I'm in any way judging what Steve Martin did. He, he's too great for that. Um, same thing with Paul McCartney. But I do want to compare. I've seen Paul McCartney now once on uh, June 10th, 2011, Vegas. And I've seen Bob Dylan over a dozen times, I suppose. And there's really important differences. Now, the two men are within, what, two years in age of each other? Bob is 70. I think Bob just turned 70 and Paul just turned 69. So what's that? That's one year apart, right? <laughs> and uh, uh, in terms of their impact, I mean, Paul certainly had uh, many more hit songs than Bob Dylan, but Bob Dylan and uh, Paul McCartney are both very, very important. But their shows could not be more different. And their shows really do bring to mind or uh, bring up the question of what does it mean to be an artist? And I would say that Paul McCartney and Bob Dylan, uh, for being similar age, same generation, and uh, similar impact on the world, have taken two entirely different approaches as to what it means to be an artist. Um, Paul McCartney's show was perfectly rehearsed. He was on stage two minutes before the start time. He came on at 7.58 and went right into, I think it's All Your Love, and he started out with it, might be the second song. I think it was All Your Love, and went right through. And he sang Hey Jude. He sang um, Live and Let Die. He sang A Day in the Life. He sang Paperback Writer. Uh, he sang um, Yesterday. He sang Blackbird. He sang all the hits, and he did all the hits pretty much like the record. The guitar breaks, monster guitar players with them, they pretty much played the solos note for note. Paul sang the same lyrics, word for word. Uh, his uh, ad libbing on the lyrics, Hey Jude, he reversed, I think, the second or third verse. Uh, he might have made a slight little change here and there in the lyric, but pretty much it was very close to a, you know, what, what a Beatles tribute band would do. It was just the stuff the way you wanted to hear it. And you got the experience of being in the room with Paul McCartney, in the room with the Beatles. And it was a Beatle. And it was a um, two and a half hour show, delivered everything you wanted. People at the end were crying, they were moved. It was a wonderful experience. It was a perfect concert. When you go to see Bob Dylan, oh, also, Paul, the whole st stage set was clean and perfect. The video was perfectly executed. Uh, these hundred people that worked for him were perfectly rehearsed. He looked trim and fit. He looked for 69 years old. He looked fabulous. Um, the wardrobe on the band, they, they were, they were uh, classy, it was just classy and tasteful and great. And when you go see Bob Dylan, Bob Dylan comes out on stage like a nut. Sometimes in a cowboy hat, sometimes uh, wearing, wearing, wearing beetle boots, sometimes wearing a collarless jacket like the Beatles, sometimes looking very 60s, sometimes looking very cowboy. You, know, you can't tell how he's gonna walk out on stage. And the, you know there are themes that go on, and there are set lists that stay similar. And Bob, Paul looks like the best possible version of Paul McCartney from 1964 in 2011. Bob, you get the pencil thin mustache, I think he has now, sometimes a wig. Uh, uh, Paul's lines on his face look like, um, boy, they're not that bad for how old he is. He's still pretty cute, still very attractive, very, very fit. Bob's also thin and fit. But his face, the wrinkles seem to have, not like we excuse them, but like we celebrate them. And uh, Bob comes out and you never, ever once get 
one of the hits you want to hear. You might hear like a Rolling Stone, but the phrasing is different. The key is different. The tempo is different. Sometimes the chords are different. You might get a reggae version of Masters of War. You might get Isis done really fast or really slow. You get whole lyrics, whole stanzas change. You get a reinvention of the song every time and not a reinvention that he sat down and thought about it and said, this is what idiot win means now. But you know, uh, 70s smearing clown white on his face to do shows, you know, wearing a spangled jacket, going through a Christian period, just crazy stuff. When you look back on the songs, when you first heard Blonde on Blonde and they meant so much to you in that time and that nostalgia, Bob Dylan just crushes it to destroys it. You know, you hear stuff right in the day that you're hearing that, right exactly what he's feeling that moment you hear from Bob Dylan. You, there's no respect at all for your memories of his stuff. There's no like, oh, I love the way his voice does that. I love the exact keyboard part in Like a Rolling Stone. Oh, I, you know, I just, I, uh, uh, it's all just growing and new. And the thing is about these two things, you put Bob Dylan on one side doing just exactly what's there in the moment creating and Paul McCartney playing a respectful tribute to our memories of the music he created. And they are both really valid and they're both really, really wonderful. And they're both ways that are completely valid for an artist to be as they get older. And I love them both, but I've seen Paul McCartney and I feel like I've seen him and I'm happy and I love that. And I'll see Bob Dylan every fucking chance I get. Anywhere he is, I will be there. And Bob Dylan will be going down the path further and pushing things further out and learning newer stuff and that's great. And Paul McCartney will be still going back and enjoying that wonderful stuff he did and that's great too. But I'll be seeing Bob Dylan more. Squarespace is the fast and easy way to create a high quality blog, portfolio, or any kind of website. If you have any questions or need help, Squarespace provides every member with amazing support 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. That's almost all the time. Start your website or blog by choosing from over 60 professionally designed templates. Customize it and then add content from your computer, iPhone, or iPad. Squarespace's mobile apps allow you to easily add entries and manage comments from anywhere. Many of the internet's highest traffic web pages are powered by Squarespace, not to mention many of the personal pages of many Revision 3 hosts and personalities. Check out www.squarespace.com slash pen to get two weeks free trial and learn more.